Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Welcome to Vlogmas 2021. This is Vlogmas slash Business. Business. And as you can see, we're recording this live. I'm so excited. Y'all, if I hadn't said it, Merry Christmas. Okay, so this is blog. This is my handy dandy notebook. Y'all always have some notes. This is going to be juicy. I just want to welcome y'all to 2021 Vlogmas Business. Today, we're going to talk about how to create a life plan. So if you're struggling with your home life, with your work life, with where you want to be, you feel indecisive, you don't know what you want to do, child, you feel lost, you feel confused, listen, you want to keep watching it because a life plan is a perfect uh, thing for you. But before I get off into this life plan, how to create one, Make sure y'all stop what you're doing and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of these videos because weekly I come on and I provide a training or inserts because my whole channel is all about taking your life and your business back with your pen, honey. So that means we talk about planning and training and getting things, creating I action plans and executing things so that you can be productive so that you can be trained so you can go catch that coin okay okay so i'm going to be doing my vlogmas from the december the 14th all the way to christmas you'll get to enjoy it and don't worry i'm still going to be posting author interviews so y'all got a lot in store just for christmas it's my gift to you it's my gift to you. So let's get into this life plan, y'all. You ready? Okay. Okay. So a life plan is simply a guide. It's a guide. Um, it's a guide. It's somewhat similar to when you create a life plan. It's somewhat slim, similar to scripting and um, it's similar to creating a vision board. But this is actually with words. Now you can amplify it by adding pictures to it. We're going to talk about that later and during the week. But anyway, it's a guide, a reminder of your goals. It helps you to knock them out, right? That's the goal because we're taking it back. We're no longer surrendering to things that used to challenge us. Okay, we've gotten tired. It's enough, enough. It's time to take over. Okay, it's time for you to have your dream life, baby. You got permission, okay? Jackie McKeever has given you permission to start living your life, living your best life. Okay, so because um, the reason why it's best to write the thing down is because Studies show that 92% of goals that are written are actually achieved. Okay. It's something about writing that makes you, that gives you a gusto a energy burst to make you say, mm -mm, I'm going to do that thing, honey. I'm going to do that thing. I'm going to do that, do that. Right. So if y'all just joining me, sometimes I'm a little animated. It's okay. It makes because uh, my goal, not that I'm not quirky by myself, but my goal is to provide you um, information that's both entertaining and educational, right? Because I don't believe that education has to be boring. But anyway, back to this life plan. That was a side note, sidebar. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Like I said, a life plan helps you. It's a physical presentation 
of what your dream life is. It ha- helps you be productive. It helps you from go from being indecisive to very decisive. It helps motivate you. It equips you by pro- empowering you, letting you know you can do this. Like you may not like things the way things are going right now in your life, but guess what? It don't have to stay that way. It does not have to stay that way. You can and you will and you and you should and you should because you deserve your best life. That's right. So in order to make a, a, a life plan, I'm going to give you a couple of steps, right? Let me give you a couple of steps. So one step one is I'm going to let you know that a life plan kind of works like a business plan. There's no, you don't have to do a graph or anything, but just listen up. Let me give you these steps. So um, number one, you want to create a description of your dream life. Okay. When you create the description of your uh, dream life, I want you to use all your senses, not common sense. Okay. I'm talking about you what you see what you smell what you touch what the sound sounds like what things may taste like how you feel like for example if one of my uh dream one of my life goals or one of the things if i was to put down to have a a six bedroom house with five restrooms and a and a, a, a amazing kitchen I might describe the kitchen because uh, I might be very passionate. I might say there is a, uh, a a kitchen large enough where I can entertain guests. We can both eat and cook. We can do cooking lessons. We can um, do trainings. Um, I can post live videos um, when special occasions happen friends and family all gather because I they know I have a large enough space. I might describe the, the cabinets as being um, dark stained oak. Um, I opt instead of stool, regular stools, I opt with, with stools with a, um, a, a great back support. The chair feels soft and generally uh, uh, soft and gentle as though it was made to um, contour or to uh, hug all my bumps and curves and it feels so good to be in in that space and I feel like I have a, a professional shelf chef kitchen with all the tools and the uh, and the accessories and my my um my pots and pans are all blue and green or pink and green green and every time i walk into that kitchen i can smell all the gourmet spices i can smell the curry and the pepper and the garlic and the onions and the oregano and they smell so amazing they make me excited and make me want to cook more for my family and friends that means I have more parties and it feels so good they get to taste the delicious uh excellent food that comes straight off of my my professional size uh stove that has a grill accessory and easy to clean and easy to wipe myself clean and oven and it's amazing um i'm able to chill put a merlot on chill as we sit or stand and create tonight's wonderful meal steak uh steak potato sweet potatoes with brown sugar butter uh with a side of brussels sprout sprouts that are cooked for perfection and taste great and i could hear laughter and people enjoying themselves in my kitchen see that was a way of 
that example isn't amazing. Doesn't it sound amazing? Doesn't it make you want to like go into that kitchen and start cooking or start eating and start enjoying it? Did it create uh, immediate stories in your head of what you would do if you were in that space? That's the ideal behind a life plan, except instead of me saying them verbally, I would put them in writing. So the number for number one would be to write in detail using all your description, descriptions, excuse me, very descriptive, using all your senses, your dream life. Number two would be to evaluate your current situation. Okay. My current situation is I sold a house. It was not my dream house, but uh, because this is the second house that I sold, um, I know uh, many of the steps in order to take, I know most of the steps that are ordered to buy this dream house. Um, the thing that uh, I, I, I know that there are areas that I need to um, work on and I would go through, and, I, and the reason why I'm focusing on the house, I'm trying to use the same example. I would go through the eight areas and evaluate my current situation. Currently, I'm not in a space where I can have large groups of people in my kitchen cooking and training and doing videos. Um, the space is very small. So that would be the current thing, right? Um, I may mention how does that affect my relationship? Well, I would feel more comfortable if I was in that space because that's something that I would desire or personal growth. How would that affect my personal growth? It affects my personal growth. So you would go through the eight areas of life, um, you know, relationships, personal growth, finances, health, um, and the other areas. And you would say how that what your current situation is um feel free to uh write down any emotions you have currently and how you would feel if your dream life occurred because that's part of the evaluation the next so the first step is to write a detailed description of your dream life using your senses um second one is to write use the eight areas of eight eight areas of life um and evaluate your current life, making sure you document any emotions now or and in the future if you had your dream life. Number three is um, you start making goals. You know, like if my goal is to have that kitchen that I would write down a time, like I may say from two years from now to own the own and be in the house that I house that kitchen, that kitchen. That would be a, a creating a goal. Um, next, you would pr prioritize your life according to the goal. Okay, so how what things do I need to get in order to, in order to have that goal? Do I need to increase my finances? Do I need to start looking at the cost of that? Do I need to compare the house I'm in right now versus the house I need to have? in order to have that type of kitchen, um, I would prioritize and stuff. And in that phase, you may have to alter that goal, okay? Um, because the, the goal may be expanded. And the fifth action, in order to create a life plan, you would create an action plan, right? Because you already know the areas you need to like home in on, right? Because you've done step one was, write a very descriptive uh, dream life. Step two, you've evaluated the eight areas of life, your current life, and your um, being sure to uh, add your, the way you feel about things. Number three, you've created goals, goals to achieving your dream life. Number four, you prioritize those goals, okay? Prioritize those goals and maybe adjust them if need be after evaluating um, what's needed in order to have it. Um, so number five, you want to create an action plan because this is the stage where you start implementing um, tactics or things you need to do in order to achieve those goals. And you adjust, you 
not only create action plans you want to adjust as needed because while creating those goals or while writing those dream life sometimes your dreams get bigger sometimes they change they may include other people they may exclude people um but the point is at the end of it you're decisive you feel accomplished accomplished you are productive you are motivated to create more goals for your life more goals for your business you're empowered and you're successful and that is how to write a a a life plan y'all if i hadn't said it before y'all make sure y'all subscribe 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 sub subscribe to the channel okay because tomorrow i'm going to be taking you on a journey um because uh the journey is debt freedom right i freed myself of over two hundred and four thousand dollars of debt and i'm gonna talk to you about it. i'm gonna give you all some tips so like i said subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos and this will be posted tomorrow i'm batching all my videos um all my inner information i'm putting it all it on a with on a bowl just for you so make sure you subscribe and tell me what you think you have any questions about a life plan i'd like to hear hear about it if you created any goals any life plans for your life comment below let's talk about it Share this.